Chatsworth is the quintessential English stately home. The setting for the film's Pride and Prejudice and The Duchess, over half a million visitors pass through its halls and exquisite landscaped gardens every year, soaking up the 18th century splendour. For the people who actually live here, you might not think space was a problem, but that's exactly what the Duke of Devonshire found out when he moved to the family seat. We've been living here for about five years and we realised as soon as we moved here that there was no room for any of the things we brought with us. So we needed to make some space and all the attics and the storerooms were completely full. You could hardly open the door. And so London auctioneers Sotheby's have trekked north to Derbyshire and set up a marquee in the grounds to hold one of their biggest ever attic sales. Hundreds of potential buyers are here in person, with many more around the world bidding by phone or online, desperate for a slice of history. And 50. Against this room at £700. Over 20,000 lots are up for grabs, much of it from the Devonshire's other houses and heirlooms collected by the notorious Mitford sisters. I wanted a little keepsake, perhaps some china, an ornament or a piece of furniture but they're all too expensive. <laughs> I visited the house about three years ago and I met the Duchess of Devonshire and I was just interested in the little brooch that she has for sale today. Along with chimney pots, porcelain and jewellery, highlights include this 1915 Humber touring car known as the Yellow Peril, which went for ten times its estimate. This 18th century marble fireplace was the big seller though, going for over half a million pounds. What's so interesting about this set is most of the things we're selling have lain untouched for hundreds of years in the attics and storerooms of one of Britain's greatest stately homes. Today we've had some extraordinary prices. We've had one or two things going very cheap for 60 or 70 pounds, but we've also had things going for dozens of times their estimate. In all, six and a half million pounds were raised, well over what had been hoped for. So, along with some extra cash to fund a green energy project, the Duke and his family may now feel a little less cramped in their 126-room house.